Apple's new $60,000 Mac costs more than a Tesla. <laughs> Talk about a Big Mac. And airlines preparing to fly millions of passengers over the holidays. Jane King joins us live from the NASDAQ with those stories and more in this morning's Money Matters report. Hey, Jane. Hi, Bruce. And Jane, good morning. Yes, airlines expected to fly more than 47 million passengers during the winter holiday season. And in fact, airlines are offering 88,000 more seats per day to accommodate the growth on holiday travel. Airlines for America considers the 18-day winter holiday travel period to be from Thursday, December 19th through Sunday, January 5th. Well, Ford said its joint research project with Microsoft has demonstrated that quantum computing can be used to make traffic more manageable. So quantum computers are these super fast, they do very complicated math that normal computers can't do. And the companies point out that existing navigation systems point out areas to avoid, but this quantum computers, they can uh, point cars to alternate routes to balance out the load on streets. Well, Netflix shares tanked after a Wall Street analyst warned the streaming wars could cost Netflix 4 million U.S. subscribers next year if it does not start to offer a cheaper ad-fueled product. This Needham & Company analyst says Netflix's prices of $9 to $16 a month have become unsustainable amid pressure from Apple and Disney. So she recommends Netflix offer a $5 to $7 a month option. And a maxed out version of Apple's latest desktop computer costs more than a souped up Tesla. The new Mac Pro, whose design has been likened to a giant cheese grater by tech geeks, tops out at nearly 60 grand for customers who opt for all the bells and whistles. It is meant for video, audio, and photography professionals who want as much power and as much storage from an Apple computer as they can get. Live from the NASDAQ, I'm Jane King. Back to you, Bruce wow. and Jen.